Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and it's Briar Fest week! Yay! Are you guys excited? I want to talk to you just really quick today about what Briar Fest week looks like for me and for the channel and for my family, and then get into actually seeing Briar Fest. So let's get started. So for those of you who may be new uh, or maybe don't know about my uh, <laughs> fun backstory with Briarfest. I'm just going to give you a very short uh, introduction. My name is Sarah. I've been going to Briarfest since I was 11. Uh, this will be my 23rd Briarfest. So please don't do that math. I would, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, I go every year. First, I went with my mom and my dad. Uh, when my dad passed away, my aunt Linda, my mom's younger sister, started going with us. We have an absolute blast. <laughs> Uh, we are in charge of the pineapple room that is Clarion Hotels room 128 at the Briar Fest host hotel there in Lexington. We chose, we decided to be the pineapple room because, um, it was the only thing we could think of, um, less than 24 hours before we left for Briar Fest. Many years ago when we were first offered this Clarion room, I spaced on signs and we decided to make funny, um, nonsensical signs um just about anything uh the very first sign that i made for Briarfest was come to room 128 we've got a lovely bunch of coconuts and it had pineapples on it so it made a lot of sense promise uh now we just use them as fun decorations they're they're tropical it's summer and they're fun and colorful and that's what we do we will be in that room selling starting Thursday night, the night before Briarfest. We'll sell Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We usually are there. We don't stay till one or two in the morning, but we're usually there until 11 or midnight or so. It just kind of depends. Uh, we have everything. We're selling all kinds of stuff. I have a lot of um, traditional briars, a lot of classics, uh, some stones this year that I don't always have. And we're also going to be selling some China horses this year. Um, if you guys watch my mystery model horse collection video, you'll kind of see some of the horses we got in that collection. Um, the woman who gave me the collection, her big uh, thing was that she wanted her horses to go where they would be appreciated. I don't particularly collect Chinas. My mom does. And believe me, all of the ones you saw in that video are not going. Mom has selected a ton of them that she is keeping. There are quite a few, however, though, that we had duplicates of, or we decided probably someone else would appreciate more. So we have them, we're selling them, they are priced, but we don't know what we're doing. So somebody could very well get a very good deal. Um, and that that is also the thing. We love wheeling and dealing. We will uh, trade we occasionally buy, but it's usually stuff on my want list, and I will have that posted on probably the sales pages. It's on the Model Horse Blab right now, and it will be on the wall of our room at the Clarion, so you guys can see that. Um, we trade. I trade for almost exclusively OF Briar. I will, I will entertain trades for stones, for copper fox, anything OF. Um, I very rarely trade for customs, about the only customs I'd be interested in trading for would actually be resins, and they'd be some of the ones on my list. Um, as much as I respect and, and admire tack makers, I don't trade for tack. Um, I have no patience for it, and I, I just can't. I just don't, I don't do it. I all that said, we will be open. I would love to meet you guys. Um, please go ahead and come in and, and say hi. If you see us at the park, say hi. Uh, we will do, we will be doing Friday morning, the, um, uh, running of the bulls or the ninja pit, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, we, we will be doing that. <laughs> we'll see how crazy it gets. Um, usually we meet up with some friends that we have and kind of do that all together. We are, of course, going to turn in our dioramas Friday. I hope you guys watch the diorama video. But usually on Friday, we are not at the park super long just because we have to get there super early. So we'll see how that goes. But I will be at the park then. We're going to spend Saturday mostly at the park and Sunday kind of off and on. 
um, just depending on what other plans we make. But thir Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be at the park at different times, maybe in different combinations of how many of us are at the park at any given time. Uh, Mom and Aunt Linda tend to run the pineapple room. I escape occasionally and I'm allowed to run away so that I can go do some shopping. Um, and I say it that way because I don't always make it out the door before they need me to answer questions. This is why I love that the Clarion has fixed their uh, cell signal issues because now I, if I run fast enough, I can get out and actually do some shopping. Uh, I think last year I made it to like two hallways because we were just so, there were so many people and we were having such a good time in the room that I just didn't leave. Um, I kind of want to leave this year and see things. I want to go to the Artisans Gallery a little more, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I will be in and out. Mom and Aunt Linda will definitely be there. We all want to meet you. We all want to see you. If you haven't seen Mom and Aunt Linda on the channel, um, they're pretty well only in the Briarfest videos from Briarfest. Uh, most of the time I do these, just me. Um, but you will get to meet them. They will be on film at some point during this upcoming week. Uh, we leave Tuesday uh, afternoon. We're going to drive probably to Evansville, Indiana from here and stay the night. We'll drive on into Lexington the next morning. That's And Wednesday we usually set up the hotel room. Um, we've never managed to set up the hotel room early enough to open the door. So don't count on that. Um, Honestly, it would take them letting us check in early, and the Clarion really is kind of strict about you can only check in after a certain time. Uh, I think they just get too many Briarfest requests, and I'm not going to cause a fuss with them. Those people put up with so much. <laughs> so anyway, we'll do that Thursday during the day. I don't know what we're planning to do. Um... We usually try to do some flea marketing or we go to a distillery or two or three, depending on if I'm in charge or if they are. <laughs> I like going to the distilleries. They're, they're fun for me. Um, but we will be there at a reasonable hour in the afternoon to open the Clarion Room. Um, if you guys want to keep up with a little closer tabs on what we're doing, I would suggest following me on Instagram. That's at Lonesome Glory 2007. Um, I will be continuing the Briarfest countdown, which is almost done at this point, which is crazy to me, but I'll be continuing that and also posting pictures, kind of letting you know where we are, what time we think we might open the room, um, what the room looks like before people come in. <laughs> so that'll, that'll mostly be on Instagram. I will post a lot of that later that night on the YouTube channel. But there is a, a significant delay between the two just because one of them takes a little more effort. So that's what we're going to be doing. It is very exciting. I'm really, really looking forward to this trip, looking forward to just getting away for a bit, but also seeing all of my Briarfest friends. I'm so excited. So here, here is, here's what I, what I have this year though. I made more little resin things. Uh, anybody who met me last year knows that I had little buttons of resin that I had made that I was giving away to people. Uh, this year I still have little resin things. This time they're not uh, little buttons um, or antique button molds. I used some miniature dinosaurs that I had. I also have some little fruit molds and uh, foxes and owls I think there's a I have a bag of them I have quite a few of them um, all different colors all different shapes all different sizes I cannot guarantee which one I will hand to you because uh, I'm just gonna throw handfuls in my pocket at different times so if you see me at Briarfest and you recognize me from all of this YouTube stuff please come up and say hi and tell me that you watched the YouTube videos and if I don't hand you a resin thing remind me that I said you could have one <laughs> and I will happily give one to you. I had such an amazing time meeting all of you guys last year at the park or at the hotel or around. It was so much fun and um, I really hope that I get to meet uh, more of you guys this year. 
I guess there's a social media meetup at Briarfest, maybe on Friday. I might try and go to that. Uh, definitely watch Instagram because that will, my going will definitely depend on if I'm able to leave the clearing room. <laughs> but I am going to try to be there and I would love to see you guys there. Um, I only have so many of the resin things, so, you know, coming up to me and getting one is only until I run out. Although I think I made plenty. <laughs> Uh, as soon as I say that, though, I'll run out on the first day, so who knows. But come see me. Come to the pineapple room and see me. I cannot guarantee that Mom and Aunt Linda will have little revs and things to give you, but if they have them, they will also hand you one. <laughs> um, but that is, that's what Briarfest looks like uh, coming up, so you're going to see a lot more videos in the next few days. Uh, I think my surprise video should have just gone out about what I think the surprise model is going to be, and more importantly, which one... Khaleesi chose. We'll see who wins that again this year. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see how all of you in Kentucky. And for those of you who can't make it to Kentucky, I can't wait for you to come with me and see Briarfest kind of how I see it. Uh, if you have questions about Briarfest or if you have uh, things you're curious about, please just let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and comment, like, are those all the things I'm supposed to say? There, I know there's a list now, <laughs> but definitely follow me on Instagram if you are interested in keeping up with me closer. Otherwise, you'll see a video on the YouTube channel about once a day uh, during Briarfest detailing what I have done throughout that day. But we're getting started now. It's very exciting. I'm very excited and I cannot wait to see you guys there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in Kentucky. Bye.